Narito ang mga balita para sa CLC News Live. Grow Community ng Central Sun Conference nagsagawa ng Urban Church Planters Academy. Pako nagdaos ng pangaral sa Bago Bantay, Quezon City. Mga taga sa Narciso Sambales, pinaglingkuran ng Filipino-Korean Adventist Church upang ibahagi ang salita ng Diyos. Pangaral sa Paradise 2, nagdala ng labing isang kaluluwa sa Panginoon. Gawain para sa Philippines for Christ 2018, pinaghahandaan ng distrito ng Bay. Pagkapalakas ng pamilya, sentro ng pangaral sa Pasig. Inmates sa Montalban City Jail, nagtapos ng Voice of Prophecy. At multimedia room para sa lakad sa Liwanag Radio Ministry, tugon para sa lumalawak itong gawain. Lahat ng yan, dito lamang sa CLC News Live. Nagsagawa ng Urban Church Planters Academy ang CLC Ministerial Department para sa mga urban church planters noong May 9 sa Makati. Ito ay pinangunahan ng Grow Community, isang center of influence at naglayong sanayin ng mga bagong church planters para sa gawain ng pag-abot sa mga taong namamalagi sa siyudad. Ayon sa mga dumalo, maganda ang naging karanasan nila lalo pat naramdaman nilang sinusuportahan at hindi nag-iisa sa pagharap sa mga pagsubok sa gawain. Naging pagpapala rin di umano ang mga mensaheng pangkalusugan at pangmoral. Nagdaos naman ng isang pangangaral ang mga sudyante ng Philippine Amazing Facts Center of Evangelism o PAFCO sa Bago Bantay, Quezon City. Narito ang balita ni Jenny Rombaor. Evangelism or PAFCO is currently conducting a crusade at Bago Bantay Elementary School in Quezon City. The seminar is entitled Miseries of History and Prophecy. The seminar started last April 20th and until May 20th, 2018. As a groundbreaking in preparation, PAFCO had a medical mission at Bago Bantay. The medical mission was supported by volunteers in the medical field. The seminar discusses exciting topics every night and has an average of 45 regular attendees, not including those individuals who do not register. The said crusade has programmed for adults and kids. While the parents are listening to health lectures and seminars, their children are enjoying singing scripture songs and Bible stories. In an interview with Rodolfo Agluba, a member of Jesus is the Rock Christian Church and is attending the seminar since day one, this seminar gives him an enlightenment and improves his knowledge about the Bible. And this is the first time he attended this type of seminar that is easy to understand. Presenter of the seminar, Brother Kevin Bingol, said this seminar aims to spread the three angels' message and according to the elders, they are aiming to establish a church here at Bago Bandai, and only God can do that and they are just mere instruments. He added this is an all-out program of PAFCO staff and students and in collaboration with Manila Center Adventist Church and with the help of young people. It is our prayer that may the Holy Spirit moves in the heart of those people and accept Jesus as their personal Savior and God. This is Jenny Rumbaon reporting for CLC News Live. Dial sa Philippines for Christ 2018, nagsasama-sama ang mga 70 Adventists sa Luzon upang ipangaral ang mabuting balita. Kasama din ang mga kapatid natin mula sa ibang bansa. Narito ang full report ni Daniel Denzo. Away from Metro Manila, we are here in San Narciso, Zambales to witness one of the nationwide evangelistic meetings of the Seventh-day Adventist Church. These nightly meetings has started yesterday, May 20, 2018, led by Filipino-Korean Church. Uh, I'm so happy because of so many people get together to survive, survive yeah. together. Because uh, also I, uh, today, tonight I shared about Jesus Christ, who is our Savior, only Savior in the universe. Uh, I don't know exactly, but some of them maybe knows about Jesus Christ, but some of them, some of them are not still. Uh, tonight I want to share who is the Savior and who is the Creator exactly to them. That's why I'm so happy. 
um, God has blessed us with this audience, um, and a lot of them are very hungry for the words of God. Um, on top of the nightly meetings, uh, we also be conducting Bible studies, and today we went around for two hours, and within two hours, uh, 17 people, uh, 17 people uh, expressed their intention to have a Bible study. Pagpasok ko pa lang po, okay lang naman po. Maganda po yung per, ano po sa amin ng mga Korea. Salamat din po kasi na kahit pa paano po nakakinig po kami ng magandang ano, disiplina ng Diyos. Panginoon po. We are expecting hundreds of simultaneous evangelistic programs in the coming weeks as we are approaching the Philippine for Christ 2018. My name is Daniel Denso of Project Life, reporting for CLC News Live. Kanino ba may forever? Yan ang tema ng ginawang gabi-gabing pangaral sa Paradise to Bulacan ng isa sa ating mga direktor dito sa konferensya. Si Ma'am Josie Calera, ang Children at Music Ministries Director, ang tagapagsalita para sa isang linggong pangaral mula May 13 hanggang 19. Kasama ang mga kapatid sa distrito ng East Bulacan 2B. Maliban kay Ma'am Calera ay nagsalita rin ng ilan sa mga kapatid sa distrito para sa health presentations as children's ministries leaders para sa children's hour. Ayon sa nagkapagsalita, ang pagpapalaganap ng balita tungkol sa kaligtasan mula sa Panginoon ay isang paraan upang makiisa sa total member involvement o TMI. Dahil dito, labing isang kaluluwa ang nagpasakop sa ating Panginoon. Nalalapit ng maghanap ang gawaing sabay-sabay na paglilingkod at pangangaral sa distrito ng Bailen Alfonso Indang sa Cavite sa darating na June 10 hanggang 22. Ayon sa kanilang tagapanguna, limang barangay ang pagdadausan ng mga vacation Bible school at medical mission ng mga care group, mga kapatid at piling mga ngaral mula sa Adventist University of the Philippines bilang paghahanda sa gabi-gabing pangangaral. Mahigit dalawampung kaluluwa bawat barangay ang idinadalangin ng ating mga kapatid sa distritong ito ng Cavite. Isama natin sila sa ating panalangin, gayon din ang mga kasalukuyang pangangaral na isinasagawa ngayon. Pamilyang nagmamahalan at nagkakaisa ang sentro ng pangaral na ginawa sa Pasig Adventist Church. Pakinggan ang balita ni Arlette Pakingan. The Pasig Seventh-day Adventist Church located at Barangay Maybunga, Pasig City, conducted a satellite meeting with the theme of Empowering My Family for Time and for Eternity. It is a family seminar led by the Personal Ministries Department that aims to empower relationships and strengthen family bonds against certain problems our society is facing nowadays. Most importantly, it aims to strengthen our relationship with our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The seminar started last May 4 until May 12, 2018. It was filled with inspirational nightly topics such as Four Big Secrets of a Happy Family, The Master Key to Marital Compatibility, Three Essentials to Successful Communications, and a lot more. Active listeners from senior citizens, married couples, adults, young professionals, couples planning to get married and who are about to get married, and teens were truly blessed and inspired throughout the said activity. This is Arlette Takingan reporting for CLC News Live. Tagumpay ang isinigawang pagtatapos ng Voice of Prophecy ng mga inmates sa Montalban City Jail. Narito ang balita ni Ina Sintos. Weekly studies for two hours, the inmates of Montalban City Jail Girls Dorm finally got their certificates on May 17, 2018 for completing the Voice of Prophecy study which aims to help change their previous life and introduce Jesus as their personal Savior. The sad event was spearheaded by Brother Marlon Junio in collaboration with the Central Luzon Conference Ministerial Department 
and with the help of the Seventh-day Adventist Church of Montalban. There were 40 to 50 attendees, and all of them received a Bible and a personal hygiene kit after the graduation. The voice of prophecy exists to proclaim the everlasting gospel of Christ, leading people to accept Jesus as their personal Savior and nurturing them in preparation for His soon return. It also focuses on God's love and heralds the soon return of Christ, providing hope to broken people and guidance for daily living. The church plans to sustain the activity as we are all commissioned to spread the word of God while we are waiting for His coming. This is Ines Indus reporting live for CLC News. Bawat gawain ay may sariling pagsubok, lalo na kung nagsisimula pa lamang. Pakinggan natin kung paano naging matatag ang radio ministry na lakad sa liwanag at kung ano pa ang pangangailangan nila upang ito'y manatiling nagdadala ng liwanag ng katotohanan. Narito ang report ni Kija Noel Pakingan. The Bible Exposition Radio Program of Pasig Seventh-day Adventist Church for more than a decade now. 17 years to be exact. It airs at DWAD 1098 kHz AM band 6 to 7 AM every Sunday. This was facilitated by Pasig SDA church pastors, elders, health lecturers, and our longtime anchor, Brother Melvin Sarmiento, together with his ROF team. The program tackles the fundamental doctrines of Seventh-day Adventists, as well as having health discussions. This media ministry has been supported by the church members, especially from those faithful sponsors who have an advocacy to God's works and never hesitate to share their blessings ever since it started airing. But since the radio program caters only limited listeners, the church arrived in a vision of reaching the world with today's technology. This means that for the sake of the gospel and the mission, our church needs to have a voice aired online so everyone can be reached by God's words. The church board came up with an ambitious project of putting up a multimedia room at the third level of the church. This will serve as a venue of Lakad Saliwanag live video streaming program coverage. This is Kejan Noel Pakingan reporting for CLC News Live. Maraming salamat sa inyong panahon. Nais nice naming marinig ang inyong mga balita. Magpag-ugnayan lamang po sa inyong local church communication leader o kaya naman ipadala ang inyong news dito sa ating CLC Facebook page. Nais nice naming iwan sa inyo ang pangako ng Panginoon mula sa Deuteronomy 31.6. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or terrified because of them. For the Lord your God goes with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Sa ating paningin, mahirap at mabigat ang pasanin sa paggawa. Subalit nangako ang Panginoon na nagsabing huwag tayong matakot sapagkat hinding-hindi niya tayo iiwanan ni pababayaan man. Magpakatatag tayo. God bless everyone. Have a good day. <music>